Namaste everyone. I am Vinay Siddhaya, founder of Yoga Vijnana. This guided meditation session has been specially designed for students community. Our main aim is to help students reduce stress and anxiety in these uncertain and worrying times and help achieve physical, mental and emotional well-being required to excel in studies. Our intention is to do our bit to create awareness about meditation and help students adapt a healthy lifestyle. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and encourage us to create more yoga related content. So today I am here to teach you some basic meditation technique which you can apply it during your lifestyle, during your day to day lifestyle itself. So the importance of this I am going to explain first and then we are going to go to the meditation practice itself. So let us get started with the understanding the meditation itself. I know everybody would have heard the term of meditation for sure. So before we go, I just want to quickly explain uh, the importance of meditation as a student for you. Because when I was studying, uh, in meditation was not a very hard word. I did not do meditation in my uh, college days or till I finished my graduation. And I realized the importance of it only later. And which is what I want you to be understanding now so that you can just extract the importance of meditation during your study life itself. See what we do normally when you are studying, your mind is always occupied with something or the other. So you keep um, going on one subject to other subject, you would have planned your whole day systematically, particularly you are when you are preparing for competitive exams. All these exams needs a lot of planning and a lot of dedication from your end. So the whole day is planned. The plan such a way that it is activity based. So you are like doing a study, going to the next subject, going to the next subject, probably in between you take time off for your uh, normal day to day activities. But what I want you to do from at least from today is take some time off every day, 15 to 20 minutes a day to sit quietly and do the meditation practice. So what happens now when you do meditation? So when you are doing normal activity, your mind is constantly outwardly. So you are trying to do something outside either through your senses or you are trying to learn something use your mind. So your mind is constantly engaged. It is a busy mind what I would say. So now through the practice of meditation you are trying to calm that mind down. So you might have all had experiences whenever you sleep you feel refreshed when you get up from the sleep and some of you probably have a habit of studying early in the morning because uh, many people say right. Uh, when at least when my father used to say that early morning is the best time to study. So you get up early in the morning, prepare yourself and study for longer duration or probably late night and that is what my father used to say because that is the time when your mind is peaceful because nobody is there to disturb you and even the, the, nobody, the space, the environment, the energy in the, the space in the morning is beautiful for study purpose. Fine. And now this is exactly what happens when your mind is calmer. Early morning your mind is calm, so that is why you can focus better, you can concentrate better. Now through the practice of meditation we are trying to calm the mind. That is the whole intention of uh, meditation. So we are going to do practice the meditation, first intention is to calm the mind. So when you calm the mind, what happens? Now there are lesser thoughts in your mind and you can focus better because of that. So you are not carried away constantly by varied thoughts. So you have single thought to focus on and that thought is going to be your studies for now. And when you have that single thought to focus on when you are doing the day to day, when you are doing daily studies, then your concentration will be extremely high. So when your concentration is focused on your subject and naturally you tend to remember them very clearly. So whatever you read, you are able to remember them. You can retain that information for longer duration because there is no extraneous thoughts going on in your mind. Fine. And obviously when your memory is strong, you can perform well in your studies, you can perform well in your exams and by just having a good strong memory also help you to gain a lot of confidence when you go for the exams because I know there is a lot of things that you have to remember and this is going to help you to remember a lot of stuff. Fine. So before we uh, go to the practice of meditation itself. I am going to give you a small activity now. So the activity is to just to 
help you understand the importance of calming your mind or the importance of doing a meditation itself. What you are going to do now, I will give you 15 seconds, if you do not have it, you can go and get one uh, pen and one paper and afterwards I will tell you what exactly is the activity you are going to do. You are going to do the activity before the meditation and repeat the same activity after the meditation. So, I will give you 15 seconds time, you go and get a paper and a pen, I will wait for you. All right. I hope you have got paper and pen. So, now what I want you to do before starting meditation is the small activity you are going to write A 1, B 2, C 3 like this you can just write as long as you can. You can if you can go till x y z it is up to you. If you can finish if you have done finishing all the way till the z then you are going to come back again and start again from A. Is that clear? So, that is what we are going to do now. So, remember you are going to say A then 1, B 2, C 3 and I am going to give you 1 minute time for this activity. Fine, let me just time the time for you. So, get ready to do not write till I ask you to write, just hold on for a second. All right. Now, get ready to start writing and start the practice. Start writing A 1 till for 1 minute. All right, stop writing, please stop writing, it is not a computation, it is not your CS exams. So, you can stop wherever you are, so there is no computation to finish it off till Z, if you are not finished it is fine. All right, so now whatever you have done that is your reference one, fine. Now, I am going to teach you, I am going to take you through the guided meditation, it is going to be a very simple meditation which you can apply it into your daily life. So, and for that I want you to uh, settle down first, if you are sitting in a chair preferably if you can sit on the floor with cross leg position. In case if you have some health issues like knee pain, back pain and if you are not able to sit on the floor, in that case you can sit on the chair itself. So, you adjust yourself, whatever is the comfortable position that is more important. Because if your physical body is not comfortable, then you are not be able to focus and go deeper into meditation. So, adjust yourself. I will give you a couple of seconds to adjust yourself and for some of you if you are sitting on the floor in case if you are not able to keep your back straight, if you are slouching you are free to take some blankets to put it under your buttocks or you can take whatever you have some bolster, blankets, pillow so that you can sit on that so that moment you lift your pelvis you will be lot more comfortable to sit straight on the floor. So, adjust yourself. Okay. All right. Now, follow my instructions. So, we are going to uh, give all the instructions, and you are going to be doing the following the instruction keeping your eyes closed till I ask you to open the eyes. 
Is that fine? All right, let's get started. Sit straight first. <clears throat> Keep your eyes closed. Close your eyes. Keep your back straight. Slowly inhale and extend your spine. <clears throat> Keep your back straight as you inhale, allow the chest to expand and as you exhale, you roll your shoulders back and drop your shoulders down. Sit comfortably, sink on the buttocks, sit straight, keep your back straight. Breath by breath, prepare the mindset required for the practice. Mindset to explore and experience. You keep your keep your arms comfortably on your knees. If you want it, you can keep it palm facing upwards or downwards, mm -hmm. whichever is comfortable, adjust yourself. Now let us begin by chanting three Omkaras. I am going to chant the first Omkara, you are going to chant after me. of you inhale and chant Omkara. Second round, we are going to chant together. Inhale. Third round, inhale. Oh. Sit straight and Start relaxing yourself from the toes all the way upwards. Relax your toes, the sole of your feet. <coughs> relax your heel, your ankle. Relax your calf. Relax your knees, relax your thighs, let go if there is any tension anywhere in your legs and make yourself comfortable. <coughs> relax your 
buttocks drop your buttocks on the floor relax your abdomen and your lower back feel the movement of your abdomen with your breath notice how your abdomen moves out with inhalation and goes in with exhalation stay with the abdominal movement for some time relax your mid back your upper back shoulders and shoulder blades drop your shoulders and relax your arms your fingers palm your wrist forearm elbow biceps triceps relax relax your neck and maintain a gentle smile on your face and relax and let go all your facial tensions maintain the smile throughout the practice now slowly bring your awareness to your breath start observing the flow of your breath at the tip of the nostril slow soft inhalation slow soft exhalation stay with the awareness of the flow of your breath flowing at the tip of the nostril at any point during the process in case if your mind starts wandering if there are too many thoughts coming in your mind don't feel bad or develop any kind of negative emotions towards it let this thought come but when you realize that you are focus is taken away from your breath just calmly bring your awareness back to your breath and observe the breath flowing at the tip of the nostril feel the sensation of your breath as you inhale and exhale
feed the cool air going into the nostril with inhalation. Warm air coming out of the nostril with exhalation. Stay with the sensation of your breath at the tip of the nostril. Slow, soft, cool inhalation. Slow, warm exhalations. Stay with the awareness of your breath completely. Observe the breath without any attempt to change the flow of your breath. Observe the breath as if you are observing something outside. Your breath is something which is always in the present, in the moment. If you forcefully try to change your breath, then you will be working either from your past experience or from future expectations. Drop your past and your future. Meditation is all about being in the moment. And your breath is one entity which is always in the moment. And you are completely becoming aware of your breath flowing at the tip of the nostril. As you observe the breath, your mind slowly starts settling down automatically. Your intention is just to be with the breath. As aware of your breath as possible. Drop the past and the future. Drop all the expectations of your results, of your competitive exams. Drop all the past worries which is stopping you from excelling in the exams. Get connected to the moment.
are not scared by the future drop it drop all your conditioning which is stopping you from excelling in the exams drop it observe the breath at the tip of the nostril as you are getting connected to the moment you are recharging yourself with lot of energy imagine you are receiving a lot of energy with each inhalation lot of positive energy is filling inside us and all the negativity which is trying to stop us from excelling is dropping down is you are letting go all of that and being in the moment observing your breath at the tip of the nostril just experience the calmness the quietness within us and this calmness quietness is going to prepare ourselves prepare our mindset for better focus on our studies make an attempt to maintain this calmness quietness for the rest of the day as you continue to prepare for your competitive exam try to be in the moment 
by being with the breath as much as possible. Whenever you are stressed, worried, sit quietly and connect with the breath. As you connect with the breath, you are connecting to the moment, the present. With this, let us bring the awareness from the breath back to our physical body by gently moving toes and fingers. Fingers you can feel it clearly, toes if you can. Gently move your fingers. slowly rub your palms massage your face your arms wrist and fingers now keep your palms on your eyes and Make a cup shape of your palms and just gently open your eyes within your palms first. And then slowly drop your arms down and gently with few blinks open your eyes. Take a moment to open your eyes. Sit quietly with yourself. Don't be in a hurry, sit quietly. Take a moment to come out of the meditation. All right. Now we are going to repeat the activity which you did before starting the meditation. So grab the pen and paper again, maintain the calmness, same activity, I am going to give you same time. So get ready for the activity. So you are going to start writing A1, B2, okay, alright, start the practice. All right, slowly stop the practice, stop wherever you are, whatever point you stop there. Now if you notice it, probably many of you would have reached little bit more than what you had earlier. So probably if you are earlier, if you are come till yes, probably you are gone little further, whatever it is. And some of you may not have done it also in the first meditation setting itself. But the whole majority of you will usually, they will just write a lot more after meditation, mainly because before meditation your mind is still not calm. You are still, a lot of thoughts are going on in your mind and there is a lot of energy which is taken by your thoughts. So that is why the focus will reduce. So when you are doing the activity with a lesser focus, the efficiency will come down. So that is what I was trying to explain at the beginning. 
Now the second time now after meditation, when your mind becomes calm, uh, naturally you'll be a lot more efficient in your activity. Okay, so that's why you'll you'll be able to reach little more compared to what you did at the beginning. So the reason why I asked you to do this activity was to to show you that how you may wonder like because when I was a uh, when when I was in corporate and I was working, giving time for meditation, I I sometimes felt it was waste of time. And I know in your uh, busy schedules of uh, study, you may think, okay, fine, 20 minutes for a meditation in the morning is going to be too much of a waste of time. It's in fact not true. Because if you can uh, give 20 minutes of time for meditation every day, then you will save a whole lot of time by being more efficient and productive in the rest of your day. And that is what is more efficiency. It's not about you know doing a lot of activity after activity after activity without giving enough time to calm the mind. So that is going to burn you out, that is going to stress you out more. But moment you give that time for yourself to calm yourself down and in that calm mind if you are doing the activity, so you will be a lot more productive in your efforts. I want you to make a habit of meditating every day. So from today onwards, at least for next one month, if you do an activity continuously, or in yoga we say at least 21 days. So 21 days is considering from today onwards, today is your first day. If you do the same practice for next 21 days, then it becomes an habit. So the reason for that is you may not be able to appreciate the, the what do you say, the benefit of meditation on the day one itself, how it improves in your productivity and your preparations. But if you continuously do it for next one month, and then you will be able to notice the impact that the meditation has had on your preparations. So and then you can continue it for the rest of your life. And for that to happen some tips and some guidelines I want to give you. So I preferably if possible always meditate at the same time. I would advise you to practice early in the morning once as soon as you get up probably you freshen up yourself and then sit for meditation before starting your exam preparation. Or and one, once in the end of the day, night, after your dinner or before going to sleep or before dinner, whatever it is comfortable for you, but give one time slot for meditation and you prepare yourself at that time for meditation every day, fine. That is one thing and in case on a given day if you cannot get up early or if you cannot maintain the timings, don't get stressed about it because meditation is not about stressing yourself. In case if you miss it by one or two days, it's fine, but preferably try to maintain for next 21 days continuously. If you put a determined effort, only then you can do this, do this practice. And if you get late on some day, fine, don't worry about it. In case if it gets, if it gets late on one day, you can start a little late also, it's fine, but make a habit to do it continuously for some time, for at least next 21 days mandatory. After that, Continue the practice so that it will help you in your exam preparations. So with this, I hope you all enjoyed the, the whole process of meditating. So please give your comments in the comment section. If you have any questions, you can ask your questions also in the comment section. I will reply to them later. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great uh, successful preparation for your exams and a very great successful career as well. Thank you.